Hey YouTubers, this is Old John. I'm going to make a video today on one of my new, new toys. <clears throat> I've had it a couple months, tried it out before I wanted to recommend it, so I think I can recommend it now. It's um, Toro. I usually buy uh, Ryobi products because of the cost and um, worked pretty well but I decided I wanted to go a little more commercial grade here for this um, blower and vacuum combination so I did some research <clears throat> and Toro came up well recommended this I think is considered a commercial brand which I think one of the features is that you can lock in the speed you want with this lever here um, but pretty easy to start <clears throat> you basically put this in the up position pull this all the way back put it max speed this is where you shut it off um, hit the bulb here ten times then pull it once it gets to idling or starts to try to idle then put it down halfway Hit it again and then it starts. That'll run approximately 20 seconds. I don't think you really need to wait that long. And then put it full speed. And then you can back off the throttle control here if you want. And set that at whatever you want once it's going. Um, so it's got an easy pull on it. It's a T25, which means basically 25. Um, CCs. It's called a power vac because it does both blowing and vacuum. Here are the uh, components. These are used for the blower. You can tell this one's a little worn or I've run along the ground, so that's the end. These slide together nicely, like so. And you twist, and you got to make sure when you twist it to this point, then you twist again, and that kind of locks it in. I've I've seen where people complained about these not staying together, but it's simply because they didn't twist it far enough past this little ridge that locks it in here which I think is a nice feature. So those are your blowers and they go on here and they've got this same um, rib device that goes on and you get to the point where you stop then you turn it right like that and it locks it. <clears throat> so you put two of those on to blow And then, this is also a, a nice vacuum tool. Of course, this is a handle where you hold it and you can press the trigger when you're blowing. There's your spark plug, easily accessible. Um, then this handle is for when you're you're going to vacuum. You fill it up on this side. Um, got a nice gas tank. Use 50 to 1 mixture. Holds quite a bit of gas. Got all the most recent emission controls on it. May and June of 2014. So now when you want to vacuum, turn it over. OK, 
Okay, you have to open up this end of the unit. Pry in here simply with a screwdriver. This opens up. And if you notice, got a nice mulching cutter here to cut up your leaves. You can really reduce the volume of your leaves with this unit. Uh, I don't remember the exact numbers. I'll probably put that on later. Um, this goes on for your suction. This comes in two tubes and you simply put these two screws in to lock the two together and use a regular screwdriver or a, a nut driver like so. This attaches with these screws on each side which are held on to the, the pipe so you don't have to worry about losing those. These are locked in with these screws like so. And you're ready to vacuum, except you still need to put on your, va your bag. Here's your bag. This fits onto the same place where the blower connects, connects in the same way. It's a nice, good sized bag. Um, Got a strap that you can wrap around yourself to hold it. One thing great about it, it's got a zipper that goes down over the end of the bag. And reading about these vacuums, one of the major complaints was the zipper didn't go all the way over to the open width of the bag. And this one goes even further and goes down. There again, I think this is kind of considered a commercial grade, so that probably helps. But anyway, that goes on here. This twists on again. These all attach pretty easily. Turn them and then once you get to the end point, you push it one more time and it locks it in. You can hold this with two hands, like so, squeeze the trigger, hold this here, and then do your vacuuming. You can orient this down here, or hold it up however you want to do it. I would probably put it down. But anyway, I think it's a really good unit. I've had it a couple months. It starts really easily. T25.